Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're gonna watch uh, Nuke's top five scary ghost videos that'll flip your wig. I've not seen this and uh, I'm a huge fan. So let's just li watch this real quick. Ooh. Top five ghosts caught on camera, light and shadow. The haunted side paranormal investigation team goes to investigate the allegedly haunted old Nevada state prison. The prison was built in 1862 and is the oldest prison in the western United States. It was also the site of the world's very first gas chamber. The prison was closed in 2012, but over its 150 year history, it housed some of the roughest and most violent prisoners in the world. And the Nevada State Prison was said to be even more brutal than its inmates. <laughs> Hundreds of prisoners lost their lives inside Don't these walls. <laughs> so, not surprisingly, the prison is said to be extremely haunted by the ghosts of angry former inmates. The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations team, Patrick and Jason, head into the old Nevada State Prison to investigate the reports of supernatural activity. And <laughs> hey, they soon up? find that those reports just might be true. As the guys start their investigation, they are using a spirit box in an attempt to communicate with any ghost that might be- <laughs> Hey, for real, dude, nothing even happened yet, bro. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> Present. They almost immediately begin to hear some strange sounds down an empty hallway. So, Patrick simply asks who's down there, expecting to get a response from his spirit box. But... He gets a very different reply. Hello? Who's back there? Let me see. Did you hear me? No. I heard me. I so. What was that? I swear. I heard me. Patrick actually seems to receive a real life answer to his question and a raspy voice that comes from somewhere in the darkness. Who's back there? Ooh, that's kind of creepy, dude. <laughs> the guys move on and cat. start to explore the prison, <laughs> but there are more hey, whatever makes unexplained you feel sounds. Okay. What the hell was that, dude? What was that? Where is that coming from? And then, their creepy encounters inside the prison start to get a bit more physical. It did it. It's not windy outside, dude. It is not. Dude, what was that? It's like the door tried to shut on me. Dude. It, did you hear it? I heard it. it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That door. Just came right back at me. There's a... No reason it should have done that. Patrick? Yeah. Oh. This was all Dude. scared. I was coming out of that door, and uh, something pushed it back into me. Something in the prison seems to literally be trying to shut the guys out. But regardless, the haunted side guys continue their investigation. And bro, this is when things get- Bro, you would not catch me there. I'll tell you that right now. Fuck that, dude. Why would you go to a fucking haunted prison, dog? Really weird. Jason is casually filming Patrick as he walks down one of the prison hallways. Yeah, hell no, In dude. order to try to provoke hell some no. sort of supernatural activity, Patrick is acting as if he is a new inmate who just arrived at the Nevada State Prison. And then, this happens. I'm the newest prisoner. 
Which cell's mine? Did you see it? Even though the bright light shining on Patrick from the camera doesn't change at all, some odd black shadow suddenly envelops most of Patrick's body, blocking out the light. Hmm. The Haunted Side team only noticed this strange light anomaly after reviewing their video later. There is no logical explanation as to why Patrick would suddenly be covered in darkness, even though a bright camera light is shining directly at him. So, did the Haunted Side guys actually encounter the ghosts of angry inmates that still haunt the Nevada State Prison? Did they? And if oh, no. not, just what happened to the light in this disturbing shot? Let me know what you think. You can check out all of The Haunted Side's creepy paranormal investigations over on their YouTube channel, The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations. Hmm. Watch your head. Have a YouTube channel. Okay. Two friends in Japan are out to explore an eerie bridge that locals claim to be extremely haunted. The very high bridge has unfortunately become a place where distressed people come to tragically end their lives. It oh, is said man. that several That's people creepy. jump from this bridge every year and because of these tragic events a fence had to be built above the bridge guardrails the two investigators have heard the stories of the paranormal activity that supposedly takes place on the bridge and out of curiosity they decide to investigate as they walk over the bridge they record video and snap a few photos what happens next is downright chilling it's 18 minutes ちょっと切り取る。あ。あ、ちょっと切り取る。あ、まだ何してんのかな。はい。うん、なんとなく。うん。なんとなく。うん。そこ立ってる。お。うん。なんか作る。いや。<笑><笑> What's going on? I want to see this. Where is your face? What the fuck? That's interesting, dude. That's kind of creepy. Okay. They are shocked when they see that in one of their photos, the investigator's head is missing. Bro, I would dip. So oh, could the explorers no. on the bridge have been cursed by an angry spirit? And oh, why no. is just this guy's head missing from the photo? I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch this full video and many more creepy Japanese hauntings over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. All right, that's pretty creepy. That was pretty creepy. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a it's ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, <laughs> hey, I mean, I guess. See, the thing with the videos, though, like you can always edit them, bro. So, like anything on video can be edited. But hey, that's kind of creepy as fuck. Oh, dude, I just lost my spot. I leave it on channel and you caught something great. Contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. I think I saw it. The I YouTube channel it. Equilibrium Collective says that one of their viewers caught a very disturbing clip on their home security camera. We've received this video from one of our viewers. The lady's identity is obscured for her privacy. privacy. There are a few dust particles floating about. But what is this? Okay, okay. 
Did you see? Did you see it? Uh, oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, did you see it? Anyway, a creepy translucent mist seems to rise from the chair and pass right in front of the camera. Yeah, and then a smaller creepy. mist seems to shoot back in the opposite direction. So is this something paranormal? Or could it simply be explained away as some very odd natural hey, phenomenon? BXP. <laughs> you decide. Be sure to check out the channel Equilibrium Collective with hosts Carrie Ann and Sarah for live weekly podcasts about all things paranormal. Hider in the halls. Popular urban explorer Christopher Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore another strange location, the abandoned Central High School in Cleveland, Ohio. The large building was built back in 1940, but eventually severe structural damage made the school too unsafe for students. <laughs> it was closed down you. in 2013. Today, Central High School just sits rotting away after years of neglect. Now, many believe that the 80-year-old abandoned school is haunted by the ghosts of former students and faculty. However, YouTuber Urbex Hill is more worried about real people that might be lurking or even living inside the old high school. During his exploration, Chris is descending a staircase when something chills him to the core. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, okay. Bro, this place be looking creepy as fuck, dude. Oh hell no. Hell no. Here's the sound of something falling and then being dragged across the floor. When he looks up, what appears to be either a chair or a school desk seems to have been pushed through the stairs railing, dangerously close to falling. Oh, shit. Chris suspects Hell that he no, might not dog. be alone Hell and decides no. to make his way towards the exit. But it's not over just yet. Yeah, dude, fuck that. Yeah, dude, that place looks fucking hella creepy, too. After something is thrown from one of the upper floors, almost hitting Chris, he decides to just get out of there. Later, when Chris uploads his exploration video to YouTube, <laughs> yeah, viewers that, of his guys. channel Fuck are quick that. to point out that someone or something looks got like, a lot closer to- It kind of looks like they're out of school or something. I don't know. This looks fucking hella creepy. Hey, and what's up to every all the new people here? What's good? <laughs> him than he even realized. Take a very close look. Did you see it? I did not. A mysterious dark figure can be seen hiding behind a pillar in the school's locker room. Oh, okay. Chris has no idea what he just captured and actually enters the locker room and walks right by. But there's no one there. And Urbex Hill's exploration only gets creepier as he's investigating one of the upper floor hallways. It kind of does look like someone was Again, there. take a very close look.
yo guys if i ever went like ghost hunting or anything i would be horrible at this i i probably wouldn't spot anything and i'd be like fucking hella creeped out dude i'd be like i won't be here i want to get the fuck out <laughs> What appears to be the same mysterious figure from earlier can be seen oh, quickly dude. darting out of yeah, sight behind one of the classroom doors. It's like, so, was something following Chris throughout the school without him knowing? Is Central High School actually haunted? Or was Chris just yeah, scared away creepy, by an bro. angry homeless squatter? Let me know what you think down in the comments. You can watch Christopher Hill's full exploration of the abandoned school and many more of Cleveland's creepy historic locations over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikToker Days In Nights Out says that he works the overnight shift in what he believes to be a very haunted hotel. Okay, so I'm sitting here behind the desk and it's been quiet up till now, but... I just heard something. So of course, <laughs> since I'm responsible here for tonight, I have to go and figure out what exactly it was. I just, I just literally heard something like, and I immediately turned on the, r the hell? Okay, so that wasn't there before, but okay. Oh my. Okay. Let's, okay. let's not. You know what? This one you can count. have the place. <laughs> he says that the fourth floor is under renovations, so there are no guests on that floor. He also says that that fourth floor is the most supernaturally active. Late one night, he decides to record himself as he explores that one very haunted <laughs> floor. Kids throwing bricks. Okay, I'm going. <sighs> Something. Okay. Okay, I'm going back downstairs and I don't think I'm ever gonna come up here again. Yo, you hear that? Oh, hell no, dude. Oh, fuck no. Oh my god, oh my god. I would dip so fast. Oh god, that's fucking hit. Stop recording. Damn it. Damn it. I was. Not even paying attention to where I was going, I ran past the damn stairs. We're not gonna. Oh, sh Did you hear it? As TikToker Days In Nights Out is exploring the fourth floor, a strange whispering or hissing voice can be heard that seems to be following him as he walks. Okay, clear. Okay, I'm going back downstairs and I don't think I'm ever gonna come up here again. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> so did TikToker Days In Nights Out catch real paranormal activity in a haunted hotel? Or is it all <laughs> just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. In this next video, TikTok user Fernando Victor Olive is working the night shift with his fellow workers at a train yard. Around 3.30 a.m., he decides to record a few videos to show what the night shift at the train yard is like. But after he uploads the videos, his viewers notice something in one of the clips. Something shocking. It looks as if someone is standing in one of the oh, train dude, that's doors. Creepy, bro. Now again, this train is locked and parked in the train yard in the middle of the night. It is supposed to be completely empty. So who or what is this? Yeah, that's Now what makes this video nah, even more compelling nah, 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 is the nah, fact nah. that Fernando has never posted any other video related to the paranormal on his TikTok. So could this figure be over. something supernatural? Or could it just be a very strange trick of the light? You decide. Oh, dude, if I saw something like that. Thanks for watching. Check out my Instagram Fuck here. No. <laughs> my Twitter here. And my TikTok. Uh, why not? I'll why not? see you next week. Hey, hey, that was not, that wasn't bad. <laughs> All right, if you watch this on YouTube, thank you. I'll see you on the next vid.
Hey, pop, my bean, and sit walk, take your bitch with my kicks, and she love the way I walk up. Say, go around, and Louis V, she don't love you, bro, she in love with me. We can Marty on my blicky, keep an eye on me, we gonna blow up in your city. Perk in the 40, all, oh, man, we get litty.